everyone and everybody and welcome to Monday's English lesson. Now this week we're going to be continuing to talk about people who help us and we're going to start by looking at different jobs today. We are going to look at the job of a vet but this vet is not just any vet, this is the zoo vet and we are going to read a story all about his job in a little while. But before we do that I wonder if you could spend some time with your adult now talking about what a zoo is, what lives at a zoo, and do you know what a vet does? Can you talk to your adult about that now? You might want to press pause while you spend two minutes having that chat. Now boys and girls we're going to read the story of the zoo vet, so sit back and listen carefully. On Monday George the giraffe visited the vet. He had a sore throat. The vet gave George some medicine and a scarf to wrap around his neck. Thanks to the vet, the patient soon began to feel much better. On Tuesday, Fatima the Flamingo visited the vet. She had a broken wing. The vet bandaged Fatima's wing and put it into a sling. Thanks to the vet, the patient soon began to feel much better. On Wednesday, Cam the chameleon visited the vet. He had a temperature. The vet put a cool flannel on Cam's head and gave him plenty of water to drink. Thanks to the vet, the patient soon began to feel much better. On Thursday, Eric the elephant visited the vet. He had a bad cold. He gave the vet Eric a big hanky and a hot water bottle. Thanks to the vet, the patient soon began to feel much better. On Friday, Tori the tiger visited the vet. She had a thorn stuck in her paw. The vet pulled the thorn out of Tori's paw and wrapped it in a bandage. Thanks to the vet, the patient soon began to feel much better. Oh no! On Saturday, it was the vet who was feeling poorly. On Sunday, he put some cream on his spots and got plenty of rest. And soon began to feel much better. Now, boys and girls, wasn't that a wonderful story all about the zoo vet's job and the things he did to make sure that the animals felt better? The zoo vet has a very important job taking care of all of the animals in the zoo. I wonder, boys and girls, if you can have a look at the patterns on this page and tell your adults which animals these patterns belong to. Can you guess them all right? Now, boys and girls, for your activity today, we would like you to think very carefully about each of the animals that the vet saw in the story. And I want you to choose your favourite animal. Was it the tiger? Was it the chameleon? Or maybe the flamingo or the elephant? Choose your favourite animal from the story. And I want you to draw a picture of the animal that was your favourite. And then I would like you to write a sentence to describe how the zoo vet helped the animal. So if your favourite animal was the giraffe, you would draw a picture of the giraffe and write that he helped him with a scarf. So have a think about who your favourite animal is, draw a picture of him and then write me a sentence to show me how the zoo vet helped. I'm looking forward to seeing all of your wonderful English work later on today, boys and girls. Don't forget to use your thread fingers, finger spaces and full stop at the end of your sentence. Well done, boys and girls.